Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how we can use Event Gallery to share images from Darkroom Booth in three different ways. So let's jump right into my computer and get started. The first option we're going to do is we're going to set it up to upload directly from Darkroom Booth using the API key. That is the easiest, simplest, automatic method. Um, and then we'll go over a couple other options after that. But let's go through those settings first. So we're going to click, uh, go to global settings, and then email and online accounts, and then add account and select event gallery. When we double click on this uh, event gallery option here, we should get an option to click on eventgallery.com. That's going to open up our site and if you're logged in it should automatically open to the API key um, and we will just copy this key if you're not logged in it should go to eventgallery.com you'd log into your account and then um, go to settings here and then select API but we'll copy this key paste it in there and we are configured to use Event Gallery uh, directly from Darkroom Booth. So we'll go through a couple of the settings here real quick. Um, here it's going to pull the name automatically from the event name. You'll want to make sure this option is checked and I would also uh, recommend checking the date option and make sure that's set for the date of the event. If this option is not checked it will create a new gallery for every day that you upload. So if you configure everything, things might not link up properly. So you want to make sure that the date option is checked and the date is set correctly. And then you can click get link and it'll take you to a page where you can actually print out a QR code that goes directly to that gallery. Um, so we're going to leave it at full size. We're also going to upload the original image. In, in this case, it'll be shooting on green screen, so it'll upload the green background image. Um, we'll cover some different options there in just a moment. And we're not gonna upload uh, enable animations here, but we are gonna tag the um, original images with the output image. So we'll click OK, run through a session. Okay, and that should have uploaded to Event Gallery. Now, one thing we run into uh, often is somebody will forget to check that option. They still want to upload after. So in that situation, what we could do is we can go to the process tab and you can see I have a few images uh, here and it's using AI. So it's taking a little bit to process that image, but we can select all these images and then um, click copy or burn and let's um, output to a folder on my desktop and it'll save those images so this option would be if you forgot to um, enable event gallery or let's say you purchased it after uh, the subscription after the event and you still want to share the images on event gallery. So here I have, uh, I'm logged into my account. This is the image that we just uploaded. We're going to create a new gallery. set it for today's date and then we have an option that goes through these different uh, a guide that will go through these different settings but for now we're just going to click save and use the default settings now I'm going to click um, add images the folder of images save to my desktop I'm going to just drag those images in and they are uploading Looks 
website they're all done we'll go ahead and click complete and publish the gallery it might take just a minute for the gallery to complete but here's our gallery and we can click view on client site and at this point we can send that uh, URL as a link to our customer and those images are available on uh, our event gallery site okay so the third option I want to cover is using the event gallery uploader app it's completely free you can download it from our help center let's go ahead and go there real quick so we'll go to event gallery and then event gallery app and you can download the app from here and it's completely free as long as you have an event gallery account it will work when you install it it will install to your system tray and this is how you access the settings you can see that it's looking at this folder right here it's going to upload to this gallery and i have the date set uh, it works the same way as Darkroom Booth. If you don't check this option, it'll create a new gallery based on the date. So you want to make sure you have the date set there. And it just runs in the background. So we can test that out by um, copying an image to that folder. And it should. automatically upload you can see the gallery is being created right now and there's an image and we can view it on our client site it is now available for our customer so where this becomes really helpful is using it with darkroom booth so we know that we can upload the original images let's say we're doing a three uh, photo strip if we upload the originals it's going to include this background uh, which would be green so what we can do is we can use uh, copy originals here and apply a single image template here's my output template here's my single image template so the original images will then be uploaded with the uh, correct background and then one other small thing we could do is we can also output a GIF file to that same folder. Oh, we want to make sure that we select the right folder that's outputting to. So it's going to save those original images with uh, the updated background, and we're going to do the same thing for copy originals too. And in this case, we are going to uh, enable animation. So we're saving a GIF. We'll select distribute and select that same template. So what that will do is we will then have a file that is output as a GIF animated and the original images saving to the event gallery folder. So now when we run a session, um, we wanna make sure post to event gallery is checked. And this is really helpful that if you're gonna do this option, that you copy the gallery name and paste it and make sure the date is set correct and that way they will both be uploading to the same gallery in this situation we don't want to upload the originals because those will have the green background so we'll make sure that's unchecked and click OK now when we run through a session capture three images then booth is going to handle the uploading of the output and the event gallery app is going to handle the uploading of the originals and the GIF and it might take just a minute for that all to process but we'll go ahead and switch back to our gallery and this was just a test image so we'll switch back to the admin and we can toss that one but you can see it's uploaded the output image the three originals with the green screen background and a gif um, animated with a template uh, background
applied. So thanks for watching all the way through to the end. I hope you've learned something. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.